Hey guys, and welcome to my very first, I think, wait, I think this is my very first, maybe. No, it is my very first. Get on ready with me as you guys can see my face is on. I filmed like four videos today and the very last one was just, it, it got butchered and it's no, no go, it's no bueno. Clearly the eyes, I didn't even, mm. And it, you know, I've been doing this for a very long time, but then you have days where you're just tired and you're like, you know what, this is just not gonna work. And the vibe is letting you know it's not gonna work and this just did not work. I was able to hash out a whole bunch of other videos, so I'm okay. It wasn't like a fully like dump day, so it's okay, it's okay. So it is time to take my makeup off and I've gotten so many questions on my skincare routine. I've been telling you guys for a very long time that I was gonna do it. And I am here to do that for you guys now, yay! so happy about that don't judge me because I know I do not like skincare I do not love skincare but I do skincare and I have it's a lot I know most of the skincare items that I use on my face every single night so this is my PM skincare routine 8.42 hold on kill me La Hocho y 43. Now it's 8.43. And Cammy is taking a nap. My husband's watching TV. Ty is doing her thing. So I figured it's time to take it down and remove the makeup. So I'm gonna film it for you guys and give you like my step-by-step. -step. I'll tell you what I use. I do have a morning routine. It is fairly, fairly simple. I don't wash my face in the morning anymore. I stopped that like four weeks ago. I saw this thing on TikTok and it is making a difference on my skin. All I do, I wet my skin with cold water. I use one of like the makeup erasers that I get from Shop Miss A because they're a dollar for like a pack of five. I use one of those to kind of like dab my skin and then I tone, apply vitamin C, and then I moisturize. That's all I do if I'm going out. I'm starting to apply some sunscreen because here in Florida it's like sunny every day. So I will apply some sunscreen in the morning if I know for a fact that I'm stepping out of the house. Otherwise, that's what I do. I'm organizing everything here in front of me, but I'm gonna give you guys a fun fact. I tried filming this already, and the short version is it went down like a breeze. Turns out I, I, I wasn't actually filming. I never pressed a record button. So um, I figured, you know what? Next time I have to take my makeup off, I'll just do it all over again. This time around though, it is recording. I can see it. Mm -hmm. Step number one is take off your lashes, but I don't have any lashes on today, so we're gonna skip that. The very, no, all jokes aside, the very first thing that I like to do is to use some sort of oil, pre-cleanse, a balm to remove my makeup. The two that I've been using are these two. I love Dermalogica, by the way. It's one of my hands down favorite brands amongst others, but like my number one is that like a lot of the stuff that I have in my bathroom and in here are Dermalogica. So my go-to almost every day is my pre-cleanse because it is oil-based, so this is what I'm gonna use today. But um, the skin resurfacing cleanser feels it feels like a conditioner or like a lotion and it helps break down the makeup and helps kind of pre-cleanse the skin. It's not meant for that, but I like it for that. Just to kind of like start shifting things around and breaking it down for me, but it's extra soft on the skin. So every few nights I fluctuate between this and that. I'm gonna use this one because this is the one that I use most nights. It is literally an oil. Like, it's, oh, it's spilling everywhere. He, you see? Similar to like a balm, this is gonna do the very same thing, except that you don't have to dig your fingers into a balm and do one of these and then wait till like it melts in with the warmth of your hand. So this, you just like squeeze it into your hands and it does that. This is bottle number three. That's how much I love it. And I have two more as backups. So I like doing one of these and then I just go in and don't feel bad about it. The only time I feel bad is when I film a video and then end up taking my makeup off within like 20 minutes from applying it because then I feel like I wasted my makeup product. And then I bring it down to my neck. But you see how it just broke everything down? And then I like to concentrate this on my eyes because 99% of the time, even if I apply lashes, I do go in with mascara. Mascara is one of those things that's super hard to remove. So this kind of starts breaking the mascara down. Does it kind of break it down completely? No. I have to go in with another product that I have to show you guys, but it starts the process for me. And the pre-cleanse smells so nice. It is like this aromatherapy kind of scent. Oh. I can breathe it in all day. If I, like my room, my house, my everything could smell like that, that would be amazing. I would go in with one of these like little thingies. It is damp just to remove that oil. 
And usually I do this in my bathroom, so it's just easy to have access to the sink. But I don't have a sink in front of me, so now I'm gonna have to like get up, wet this, rinse it out, kind of wash it really quickly. All right, so it does look like it removed all of my makeup, right? Wrong. Step number two is an actual cleanser. These are the two that I've been using back and forth. This one most recently, I've only had this for like three weeks. And look, I love this. I need a backup because I'm obsessed with Naturium, the brand, the items that I am trying as a whole. A lot of those items are the ones that I'm using today because they're so good. But I would go in with a special cleansing gel by Dermalogica. But like I said, I've been gravitating towards this one the most. And here's the reason why. It is a niacinamide cleansing gili. It has 3% niacinamide. And I'm gonna show you guys right now because I don't care. I'm human, I'm not perfect. Although you guys always compliment my skin and I'm really grateful because for 35, I do think that I have a good skin. I don't really have wrinkles or anything like that, but I'm gonna bring you guys close so you guys can see. You see these acne scars? They were so much darker. I have a little friend that wants to come visit and she's not deciding if she's sleeping over or renting a hotel room. We don't know what's going on yet. Um, so I'm just like leaving her alone. But you guys see these dark spots? They were so much darker. You see these? If you look back, maybe like two weeks ago, my videos, they were so much darker. And to be honest, at one point, I was slightly embarrassed because I was like, oh my God, like I normally don't put makeup on my chin and my neck, and but now I'm gonna have to because I need to hide that. But it's getting so much lighter. And on this side, it's getting so much lighter. There's a noticeable difference in two weeks and that's because of the niacinamide. One thing about the um, Dermalogica pre-cleanse, that oil, if you get any of it inside of your eyeball, girl, it's gonna sting really bad. I'm gonna go in with the Gili. Another thing that I like about the Gili is that you're able to leave this on your skin for a few minutes and it acts like a mask at the same time. So it's like a little treatment. I'm not gonna do that right now, but you do have that as an option, which is great. Make sure we get our neck. Once I've got it all blended in and I feel like I broke everything down really well, then I go and rinse off. I'm gonna use one of my clean skin club um, towelettes because they're nice and big. So I'm gonna go ahead and like dip this in water and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I am back. It's all off. I'm gonna show you my little towel. It's a disposable one. And I'm gonna say, don't, 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 don't make fun of me, okay? This is what it looks like when I removed everything off of my face. I know, right? And I hear you, so I said be nice. I heard most of you guys go, wow. And then others go, ew, and that's not very nice. But this is the thing though. I've used other cleansers and this is the only one that has really gone in and removed everything, everything, everything to the point that I go in with a second one and it comes back clean. I really like this. And I also like that it has the niacinamide, which is why I've been gravitating towards this one a lot. I got it in the AIA Beauty Bundle. The whole bundle is by the brand Naturium. Keep in mind, it's still available. You can get a discount. Um, if you use my code, it is linked down below. I think I'm gonna order like another box or two just so that I can have backups because for $35, an entire bundle, I'm saving so much money. But this is amazing. Okay, next. I am gonna remove the rest of my eye makeup. It may look like I have none, but I do. I'm going to use the Tarte Micellar Magic Water and then I'm gonna use this baby. I did rinse it out. And the reason why I'm using the Tarte Micellar Water is because it's the only thing that I find that will remove lash glue and mascara quickly easily without being super uncomfortable the only thing is don't get it in your eyeballs because it will hurt but it just does the job look it's like lifting removing without spreading it everywhere on my face on my skin and i can use it to target the specific area which is the eye right now everything even the eyeliner is now gone now we're gonna go to the next step and what i use to tone is none other than the 111 skin antioxidant energizing essence this is a toner i use in the morning and at night it's the only toner that i've been using and i feel bad because it has kind of replaced my pixie the glow one the glow tonic is amazing but this one i think the scent just does it for me so um i've been using this one as you guys can see it's like this is bottle number three this is down about that much thing about it is i started putting it in one of these i prefer ease of access. Disposable cotton pads to kind of dab it all over my face. I just find like it takes twice as long and I'm already doing enough skincare. So in order for me to be okay and feel happy with doing my skincare routine, I need ease of access. So I went on to Chef Missy and I ended up getting these little bottles for like a dollar and I poured this into this. So for me, it's just easier to spray this all over my skin. Boom. Oh, it smells so good. And let it sit. I give it a minute and I move on with my life. It is so much easier than doing one of these. So little tip, 
get these dollar store or even shop miss a spray it on your face move on with your life also you know what's annoying ty loves this toner to the point that she herself has been using it in the morning and at night she's working on her skincare so she loves the scent the next step i don't do every single day i tend to do this like once a week each week i rotate between one and the other so i will either use the dr brand pore demabrasion this will help clear out some of my pores as well as kind of like refine them and lightly exfoliate the skin it's nice and greedy but it's not uncomfortable or rough on the skin at least for me it doesn't irritate my skin it doesn't end up red i don't feel like i got cuts or anything like that and i kind of like the way it feels after i remove it so i either use this or i'll go in with the glam glow super mud i know they're two very different products this is a mask that is supposed to refine and clear clean out your pores and this is an exfoliator but these are like special treatments that i tend to fluctuate between just to give my skin that little extra tlc once a week but on most days i don't do that so the very next step that i would do when i'm not doing that is i would go in with a liquid exfoliator of some sort i've been using this for about two years or so i'm so happy i don't know if paula's choice has it in their system like okay we're gonna send it every two to three months but i promise you every time i'm like running low i get a new bottle magically it appears in my doorstep and i'm so grateful because this is really good and i've been using this one super long term this is the skin perfecting two percent bha liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid most recently i've been using the notorium bha liquid exfoliant um it has two percent salicylic acid and fruit acids and all that good stuff so i either use one or the other and i fluctuate between the two every other day for today i'll use the paula's choice one i feel like they do the very same thing i normally would go in with a disposable pad but they're all in my bathroom so i'm gonna use one of these which i typically like to have here in the studio it's extra absorbent so i can apply more than enough for it to go all over the skin do one of these and then i just drag it everywhere very gently i don't overdo it I skip like the eye area. Don't wanna do that. That skin is way too sensitive for this kind of product. And then I make sure that I concentrate this in my problem areas. Before moving on to the next step, I give it about five minutes. I want my skin to absorb this. I want it to do the most. And we are going in with a lot of product. And I know it seems like a lot, right? It kind of seems like a lot, but that's because I'm showing you, you know, the this or that, but really it's not that much. It's like five or six different products. Next, I go in with the Niacinamide Serum by uh, 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 Notorium. Now, you could go in with this and it's perfectly fine. Like you don't need to get this. If you have it, use it. I like to save this here in the studio for like makeup prep whenever I'm filming. So I leave this here now. I go in with the niacinamide uh, serum. It has zinc in it. And I tap that in to the skin. And the reason why I'm tapping, I only do two pumps. I'm tapping so that the pumps can go a very long way. Because if I just do this, I'm concentrating most of the product in one area. Once I've made sure that I've applied that serum all over my skin by dabbing it, now I can go in and just kind of press it in and massage it into my skin. I tend to use the rose quartz on um, little like tool that I got from Boxy Charm. I didn't grab that. And if I go in the room, I'm gonna wake up the baby, so I'm trying to avoid that. But I just massage that into my skin for like one minute. I don't overdo it. And I pull up and I do one of these and I make sure that I get some of that niacinamide serum onto my problem areas. I make sure I focus on those areas a lot. I'm no skincare expert, but I do feel like this niacinamide is doing so much for my skin in just a matter of three weeks. I'm noticing a difference for sure. Next, I go in with one of three products. Every day it's different. So if today I use this one, the next day I use this one, and then the third day I use this one. This one is the Paula's Choice Discoloration Repair Serum. It's supposed to help fade the look of brown and gray patches. We're gonna use this one today. Y'all already know this one. This is Sunday Riley's Good jeans and then sunday riley's a plus retinoid <sighs> love these so i guess the reason why i rotate products is because i don't want my skin to get 100 used to one product so i've been rotating them and it seems to be working so like i said we're gonna use this one today i'm gonna do two pumps 
Same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and pat it all over my skin so I can spread out the two pumps. And then once I've done that, I'll massage it into my skin. For the under eye area, I don't know if you guys have noticed, it's gotten a lot brighter and the puffiness seems to be dissipating, at least in my opinion. I've been using this and it's affordable. It is the Good Molecules Yerba Mate, Yerba Mate Wake Up Gel. Literally, I go in and I pop a little dot here and a little dot there. That's all I do. I've had this for months, a good maybe five months, and it goes a very long way. Look, just a little dent here. I let this product sit under my eyes for about three minutes before I go in with the very next one, and it is by Murad. Now this is the Murad Resurgence Targeted Wrinkle Corrector. I keep her simple. I just pop a little bit out here, a little bit out here, and then I'll take the little applicator. I blend that in, but I don't want to overdo it because I don't feel like I have a lot of wrinkles, right? So then I'll just add a little bit of whatever's left on the applicator on the inner portion and I bring it down. I don't go under my eye. I don't feel like I need it. I just kind of go down and pull out. And by the way, this is, there's like, I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. This is just what I've been doing that I feel like has been working. I've noticed a difference on my skin ever since I started complaining about my skin. I'm right here, boom, boom, let me, there we go. So for the eye area, that's all I do. I leave it alone. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to like over apply or anything like that. Then I can go in with um, a moisturizer and or a mask. This here is the Caudalie Instant Brightening Moisturizer. This is so emollient. It's really nice on the skin, but your skin is not going to feel oily or greasy. Um, or I've been going in with the Pharmacy 10% Niacinamide Night Mask. You're supposed to rinse this off. Technically, you can actually go to sleep with it because it's like good for the skin. So because of the niacinamide, I've been using this one a lot more. I'm gonna skip on this one because I've been using her a lot more and I'm gonna give Caudalie a little bit of love. I don't over apply moisturizer. I just give my skin what I feel like it needs. My skin is not super dry and is not oily either. I have normal combo skin. And again, I mean, I'm doing this video. Um, hopefully it's like fast. I don't know how long this video is gonna be ultimately, but I technically give a good five to 10 minutes in between some products so that the skin can absorb it. Another thing, I have had people question whether or not niacinamide is safe to use with retinol. Yes, it is. You can definitely use niacinamide and retinol. You should give a good 10 minutes in between though. So apply your niacinamide, give it a good 10, 15 minutes, and then come back in with a little bit of retinol and you should be okay. If you have extra sensitive skin, that's questionable. But I've done my research. Another thing is, can you use vitamin C with niacinamide? Yes. Same thing, you want to give some time in between, 10 to 15 minutes, and then you can go in with your vitamin C. As I mentioned to you guys, I stick to using vitamin C first thing in the morning just because I find that it works a lot better and my skin can breathe. I don't want to overdose my skin if it's not necessary. And, you know, I feel like there's been a difference in my texture. It looks good, it feels better. Again, it looks brighter, it looks healthier, it feels softer. So I kind of stick to that model, less is more, even though this is wow, you know, but it less is more. And then for acne spots, I'm gonna end this video with like a white dot on my face or two. This is what I've been using. This is the Skin Fix Acne Plus 2% BHA Acne Spot Treatment. Ty's been using this more than I have but I tend to just kind of squeeze a little bit, just a little bit, tutu, and pop a little bit here, pop a little bit there, and I call it a day. I leave it alone. I don't want to oversaturate the skin if it's not necessary. I just want to spot treat the areas that need some help. And like I told you guys, I was gonna end this video with like a spot or two. What do you guys think? For a non-skincare lover, I think I'm doing pretty well. And being that I'm noticing differences in my skin, it says something. But yeah, this is my nighttime skincare routine. Thank you so much for getting unready with me. I hope that I'm shedding some light as to what it is that I'm doing with my skin in order to maybe help you with yours and give you possibilities as to what maybe you can do. Again, I'm not a skincare professional, so don't base everything that you do on what I'm saying. I'm just letting you know what worked for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.